In fact, a lot of talk about the media during today's hearing, and the media took a pounding. Fox News media analyst and the host of Fox's Media Buzz, Howie Kurtz, has a look at that. President Trump wasn't the only target for James Comey at today's Senate hearing. He also took direct aim at the press. The former FBI chief was especially critical of a New York Times story from February headline, Trump campaign aides had repeated contacts with Russian intelligence. And so the American people can understand this. That report by the New York Times was not true. Is that a fair statement? Yeah, in the main, it was not true. Comey did not specify what was untrue about the Times article, but said many media reports are off the mark. And that's because, in his view, most sources cited by journalists are uninformed. And I'm not picking on reporters about writing stories about classified information. Is the people talking about it often don't really know what's going on. And those of us who actually know what's going on are not talking about it. And he soon broadened his indictment of the press. You were stunned about how wrong they got the facts. Yes, there have been many, many stories purportedly based on classified information about, well, about lots of stuff, but especially about Russia, that are just dead wrong. But Comey says the FBI doesn't call the press to correct inaccurate stories. His testimony also knocked down reports on CNN, as well as ABC, that Comey would say today that he never told the president he was not under investigation as part of the Russia probe, as Mr. Trump had insisted. He will say that he never assured Donald Trump that he was not under investigation, that that would have been improper for him to do so. But Comey did confirm he had given the president such assurances three times. That prompted CNN to correct an online story headline Comey expected to refute Trump. Yet Comey admitted orchestrating his own leak to the New York Times, which reported last month that the president had asked him to, quote, shut down the investigation of former national security advisor Michael Flynn. The story had quotes from Comey's version of the conversation, including the president telling him, I hope you can let this go, which a Comey friend at Columbia Law School read to the paper. So why didn't you give those to somebody yourself rather than give them through a third party? Because I was worried the media was camping at the end of my driveway at that point, and I was actually going out of town with my wife to hide, and I worried it would be like feeding seagulls at the beach if, if, it, was, if it was I who gave it to the media. So I asked my friend, make sure this gets out. All this put Comey in the position of criticizing leaked stories as inaccurate while confessing that he's been a high-level leaker himself. Now, New York Times spokeswoman just told me that the papers found no evidence its story was inaccurate, but would welcome any details from Comey or the FBI still. There's no question the media's reputation took a hit at the hearing that all the broadcast and cable news networks carried live. Brett? Howie, thank you.